Good afternoon, y'all. It's Joe here at Statesville Mad Vapes. I'm going to do a quick review today of the Segeli Compact we just got in. Uh, it's the first really small Segeli I've seen. It's actually pretty neat. It's very, very thin. Uh, it's, it's about the same. It's actually probably thinner than the Eye Care, if anyone's ever seen the E Leaf Eye Care. Um, so, this guy, what you have here is a compact vape. Um, it's using a pod system, so it's a lot more convenient to uh, fill. What you would do is just remove it. It's got a little magnet right there that clicks in and you can see the contacts right here. Now when you get the device the pod is actually facing the wrong way. You don't want the mouthpiece over the arrows. It just does that so it couldn't fire and burn the coil out. So to actually run the device you'd want the mouthpiece on the opposite side of the arrows. Reason being is you have these two little contacts that I've shown you. They need to match the two brass contacts down inside the compact. So uh, this thing's impressive. It's an 1100 mAh internal battery. Uh, that's a lot of battery life for a 1.6 ohm coil. Uh, they are sealed pods. The airflow is located on top. Uh, it gives really good flavor and a really, really good hit. It's a decent cloud uh, when you're vaping. So this guy, is, he's just small. And the battery life, you're, you're going to get a long life out of it. Um, you're probably going to go a day or two days of severe vaping. I mean, hitting this thing every minute, every 30 seconds. 1,100 miles a lot for this tiny coil. Uh, Jeremy owns one. Uh, Jeremy is this gentleman right here. Not my thumb, but that guy. Uh, he likes his a lot. I mean, he says he gets about a day, day and a half off of his. He's a very uh, heavy vapor, so he does vape a lot. Um, but So the way these guys work is you remove the pod system, and you have a little rubber seal right here. You're just gonna wanna like remove it by any means necessary. If I can get it out of there, it's kind of difficult. <sighs> there we go. All right, so if you pop it out, you'll be able to just fill it right up. It's a two, milli till two milliliter tank. Um, and what it does is when you fill it, you can actually see a little sliver of cotton in there. I don't know if you can see, but I'm putting my finger on the wrong side. That little bit of cotton right there. And uh, it's just, it's really a little micro coil, but it gives a surprisingly good hit. Uh, it's definitely one of the newest of the pod systems, and I think it's going to be around for a long time. These things are really impressive. Uh, upon purchasing the device, you do get a charging cable. You do get another pod. Um, however, the pods cannot be taken apart. Uh, they are sealed and press fitted. Uh, I don't suggest trying to take it apart. I know everyone's first thought is going to be, well, I want to rebuild it. Uh, use the coils that come with it. It needs to run on a 1.6. It needs to have a higher ohm coil. And plus, if you can see, it's heat sealed along that, that edge right there. So if you're gonna crack that, it's just gonna leak on you and you just wasted your pod. So uh, these things, all in all, it's a really freaking excellent pod device. I would highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's very compact for what it does. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful afternoon.